Hello, I'm Raj Gupta, Chief Financial Officer of the American College of Healthcare Trustees. In this segment, we will review the S&P 500. When people say the stock market is up today or down today, they are usually referring to the Dow Jones Industrial Average or the Standard & Poor's 500 Index, commonly referred to as the S&P 500. The S&P 500 Index was launched on March 4, 1957. However, historical values go back to January 1928. While the namesake is 500, there are typically more than 500 companies in the S&P 500 Index. As of May 31, 2018, there were 505 companies in the index. One key difference between the Dow Jones Industrial Average and the S&P 500 is that the Dow Jones Industrial Average is a price weighted index, whereas the S&P 500 is a market cap weighted index. Market cap is defined as stock price times the number of shares outstanding. Hence, the largest 505 companies with regard to market cap are included in the S&P 500 index. This is why the S&P 500 index is often referred to as a large cap index. The combined weight of the top 10 companies in the S&P 500 index exceeds 20% of the index. The top 10 include names such as Apple, Berkshire Hathaway, JP Morgan Chase, and Exxon Mobil. According to S&P Global, the S&P 500 index captures approximately 80% of the available market capitalization. If you wanted to delve deeper into the remaining 20%, you want to examine the S&P 400 index, which is a mid-cap index, and the S&P 600 index, which is a small-cap index. Together, the S&P 500 index the S&P 400 index and the S&P 600 index make up the S&P 1500 Super Composite Index. The S&P 1500 index captures approximately 90% of the U.S. market capitalization. One other note, the S&P 500 index considers float adjusted market capitalization. The float refers to shares that are floating rather than outstanding. It excludes shares that are not available for trading, such as those held by insiders. Hence, the float adjusted market cap is almost always lower than the total market cap of a company. The value of the S&P 500 index is calculated by dividing the sum of the market capitalization of all constituent companies in the S&P 500 index by the divisor. The divisor is proprietary. On May 31st, 2018, the S&P 500 closed at 2705.27. The sum of the float adjusted market caps of all the companies in the S&P 500 index was 24 trillion 156 billion 345 million 300,000. That puts the divisor around 8.9 billion. And so that's an illustration of the S&P 500 index. You can invest in the S&P 500 portfolio using exchange traded funds. For more on index investing and on asset allocation in general, you may enroll in my private wealth management course. My private wealth management course is available on Udemy. Click on the link in the description box to go to the landing page for the course.